Flatness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. Oh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, no. but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Who happens to be it on? <laughs> Man, there's so many endings, guys. So many endings. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait, can I open these now? No. 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 Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, let's see if there's anything new here. Ooh, this one opens now. No? No? Can't see myself. Kind of creepy. Money in the morning. Money in the evening. Money for breakfast. Money crisp. <laughs> oh my god. Eh. Alright. Let's try this one. Ooh. Ooh. Panda with a gun to its head. Oh. No, well, it's a business strategy. Kill pandas. Out of here. Out of here. Let's go up. Let's try down. No. Okay. So nothing. We're going to try the escape route this time. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Nope. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Oh. That's kind of funny. Come 
Come on. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, no. No. Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. I wonder if you can die doing that. Probably. I don't see anything over here. No. No. Okay. Just checking. Just check, guys. Okay. Still cold. And this time Stanley we're going... walked straight ahead through the large door that read that Mind way. Control Facility. No, I'm not. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Nah, you're lying. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Whee. Oh crap. Let's see here. Probably not the best place to save, but that's all right. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Fairly, Stanley. Oh! Oh, but there's a thing under me. I can... Uh, I'm gonna jump. Farewell, Stanley, oh. cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single oh. visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, oh, I wanna go killing down him there. instantly. Me down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I win. I win. Take that, narrator douche. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes Ooh. meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What are you, Schrodinger's cat? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I guess they think you're Schrodinger's cat. Um. Okay. I guess this is like a museum, it looks like. The epic filing cabinets. Some ass is playing solitaire. Let's try this way. Boss's office? Wait, it changes? Oh, development. Okay. Now look to the other side. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design, textbook of despair. It's the kind of thing you'd pick up on intuitively if you had even the most fundamental understanding of good or bad games. Of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next time trying to solve it. Here, I'm just going to make this easy on you. Can't really hear it. No? That's disappointing. I really kind of want to hear that. 
You can kind of hear it, but not really. Not enough to actually understand it. Hey, we just got that ending. Countdown room. Yep, we were just there. Oof. Zending? I don't think we've gotten that. Maybe... Huh? Countdown desk. I don't think we've seen that. Game design mock-up. That's funny. So gradually it got bigger, it kind of looks like. Lounge. There's a skeleton inside of you. There's more skeletons in this world than humans. Wow. And what is this supposed to be? Narrator emails? Wow. Wait, wait. The copy machine! Da 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 da. Anyway. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything. So let's see how this bad boy ends. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. No, perhaps not. No. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you okay. move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. Ah, uh, squishied.